Hi everyone, welcome to Five Points Blue. I'm Kelsey Charles, joined by Lindsay Draper, Taylor Stern, and Miss Christy Scales, coming to you guys from training camp out here in Oxnard, California. Guys, we are a couple weeks into camp. We've seen some padded practices, a preseason game. So I want to get some impressions from you ladies. I'll start with you, Christy. Who has stood out to you the most this camp? Well, going into that uh, preseason game, talking with Jerry Jones in our owner's box interview just 15 minutes before kickoff, a couple of the young guys that he was most excited to see. The first guy he mentioned was Lyle Collins, the offensive lineman, the free agent from LSU who got work at uh, right guard. And then also Randy Gregory, the defensive end from Nebraska, the second round pick. And Gregory had uh, a sack in the game. He also had some pressures where he didn't, didn't, you know, got a hand on the quarterback, didn't bring him down. So that's kind of the theme of camp. Yet you see some good things from some young guys you see some bad things but who are some of the other young guys that are standing out I for would, you guys I would reiterate Lucky Whitehead he's mm -hmm. somebody who reminds me of Tyler Patman last year undrafted kind mm -hmm. of unappreciated but now he's been put under the fire I mean they're using him in so many different situations and putting him up against corners that are very good tests for Lucky Whitehead and like you said he did have that fumble in the game and what mm -hmm. Des Bryant said about that the reason I like you Lucky and respect you is because you bounced back and the very next punt return he had was a, was a good one. So but I yeah. think Lucky's catching everyone's attention. What for are your sure. thoughts on all that, Taylor? I think the one that I've been most impressed with throughout camp, not necessarily a young guy, he's a veteran, but Cole Beasley. Mm -hmm. I mean, he right. has just come out here, and he's the most reliable guy out there, especially with Des being out. He's been getting these reps over and over again, and I think they're just – He's reliable. You know he's going to catch I it. Look, and I look at a guy like that as an ultimate mismatch. I mean, you take his yeah. size, and mm -hmm. initially when you're when you're younger as a young player, you look at that and you're like, man, you don't really have the size the other mm -hmm. guys have. But he's taken that and used it to his advantage. What about some guys who need to step up? Lindsay, I'll start with you, who really, really just need to have a good camp this year and a good season for that matter. How about Morris Claiborne? Anybody on that with me? I would, I would be on that. I think yeah. Mo is due, and I was talking to his fiance actually a couple days ago, and she said, believe it or not, he's way stronger than he has ever been after having both of those knees repaired in the offseason. Mm -hmm. He did collide with Byron Jones out here yesterday, got an injury for there. So it's kind of like, okay, Mo, you're going full yeah. speed, but just, you know, find a happy medium. But I, I think he's one that's very due for a good season. Yeah. What about you, Taylor? The one that I think needs to step up. I mean, Gavin Escobar, everyone could have argued that the first half of training camp, mm -hmm. but then he comes in and he's had a good couple of days of practice, but I'm still curious to see where he is and what exactly his role will be. I look at him as a guy who, I was talking to someone the other day about how he could really he, they, they, I, they, he argued that they weren't utilizing him in the right way. And I don't know if I would completely agree with that, but I, he, he related to him like a Jimmy Graham. Maybe not as dynamic as a Jimmy Graham, but like the, in the More fact wide that receiver. he kind yeah. of creates that mismatch. He's a mismatch. Mm -hmm. And one last question for you, ladies. I know it's been a big topic of discussion in the offseason for this Dallas Cowboys team. The run game. Obviously, DeMarco mm -hmm. Murray departed over to Philadelphia. They brought in Darren McFadden. You've got Joseph Randall in the mix. Lance Dunbar. I mean, there's a couple different options. Mm -hmm. Even some younger guys that have kind of stepped up. Gus Johnson is a name that's been on the radar, too. So talk to about this running game how you think it's going to pan out cash i'll start with you i guess mrs I, draper i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> always cash i know i've been intrigued since michael irvin came out to practice about a week ago and said you know if you don't have that one running back that's a huge threat then the then the, the defense is not going to be as worried about your run game mm -hmm. and to me i wonder is darren mcfadden joseph randall lance dunbar will they have split carries mm -hmm. evenly or will, will there be one person who takes the bulk of the carries so i think that's the main question for me right now and and is it going to be as big of a threat i mean i feel like a lot of people in this league could run behind our line yeah mm -hmm. near perfect out here so that's where yeah. i'm at taylor what do you think i mean curious to see how mcfadden does once he's out here healthy really working full capacity how he will do behind this line, you know, because he was at Oakland and not very strong team. He didn't have a lot of they weapons. They didn't have the line that they have over here. Yes. At Dallas. Right. Yeah. So how he'll do. And, you know, Dunbar, where he's going to play. Mm -hmm. And he's it'll be interesting to see. But years too. I don't think they'll really address the starter until probably after the third yeah, game. Yeah, I'll settle for just getting the top three guys on the field healthy at the same time. Right. Because <laughs> like you said, McFadden, he's, he's been sidelined with the hamstring strain. Lance Dunbar uh, it tweaked his right ankle the first week of camp, so he's now just working his way back. And, of course, Joe Randall, they're being cautious with him. He had an oblique strain. So so yeah. I just, just want to see him see him all, you know, at the same time. Let, let's get a real look at all three. Interesting thoughts all around. We'll be able to get a good look at all three of them here in the next couple of weeks. We've got a few more weeks here at training camp. The Rams are coming to town today and tomorrow and then we have a san francisco preseason game before we head back to dallas but thank you guys so much for joining us stay up to date with all the latest going on with the team and dallas cowboys at fivepointsblue.com and we will see you guys next time